Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Aquarians and it's for the month of August and a little bit over. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it helps you understand where you're at, what's happening, what are important factors for all of you to know. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you and I would like to also to let you know, those of you who are new to the channel or new to the coffee cup, I do, I want you to know that I meditate prior to doing the coffee cup and I am given uh, a lot of information which I write down quickly and then jot them down quietly um, in a piece of paper and deliver them to you right at the end of this reading. So stay tuned for that and let me begin by showing you what a magnificent cup you have this time. Wow. This time there's so much details. Wow. Details to the letter. Everything you need to know is going to be here. And let us begin. Starting with the first thing I see here. At the end of your cup, I'm seeing a lot of amazing, incredible outcomes. But uh, at the beginning of it, right here, it looks to me like you may be standing and thinking about two situations. You're a bit indecisive. You're not sure how to move forward at this moment. You need to focus a lot. You have to look at everything, calculate everything, and calculate the, ink, uh, the outcome. Not the income, the outcome. As I was saying, um, my dear Aquarius, the most important factor is the outcome. The outcome of the consequences. So when you are calculating uh, what the best course of action is to make that decision, look at all the pros and cons. Look at the consequences, okay? Because there is fear of consequences. That's why I'm saying look at, okay, if I do this and this happens, how will I deal with it? Can I handle it? All those things, put them into account and do, and do, and then, you know, move ahead and, and do, do, make your decision. But you have to be very cautious because it looks to me like this decision comes at a time where there could be financial difficulties, where there are financial problems. Not like uh, it looks to me like there may be some financial challenges. So making this, that's why you're not making it easy. That's why, you, you know, you are uh, thinking about it and looking uh, how hard it is to do this. It's not going to be easy. Uh, it looks to me like there could be obstacles and challenges standing in your way when you're making, when you're about to make this decision. This decision is based on uh, a situation with someone, masculine energy. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, it could be to do with a relationship or partnership or something to do with someone who, who um, is, um, Mass has a lot of masculine energy even if they're not a man but they i have got a lot of masculine energy so that you know there's a i mean there could be a male gender or could be someone very masculine okay there is also a situation where to do with family family affairs are there so you might be thinking you know um whether maybe some of you are considering living with family You've got someone with you and you, you're you thinking, should I live with their family? Should they live with my family? There could be something like that. I'm making a decision maybe to save money. There is financial difficulty. It shows uh, there is uh, challenges. So, you know, um, there's a lot to consider when you are, you know, looking at the bigger picture. So think about it well. There is a lot of worry. You are stressed out. You look, looks, it looks to me there's stress. But I see this stress is a bit of time and it's going to become less and less. Some of you are having issues with um, health and you might be considering, uh, you know, slowing down a little bit, taking more rest, getting more healing. At the same time, something from the past keeps coming up. Something from the past keeps coming in your mind. It keeps coming and you keep trying to process it, something that you haven't processed completely. Maybe it, it, uh, this past gives you some sort of happiness that you keep thinking about or keeps coming up. It's a situation maybe that hasn't resolved in your mind, in your heart, perhaps. But ultimately, it's like the heavens are saying, move past that and let go of the past and just keep going. Um, you've got to be very careful because it does show a little bit of danger in money matters. If you are taking a risk, whatever you do, try to avoid taking any risks because it looks like there could be uh, money issues or danger in money, money problems. So be very, very vigilant, very cautious. 
there may be uh, patterns from the past surfacing again something might be triggering them uh, they, they could be triggered by someone new in your life Tr things that from the past again they're getting triggered and and that sort of really uh, surface like brings on um, the hurt that you might have had in the past so you might be going through some sort of dark night of the soul for a while you know where nothing seems to be making sense it's just a it's just because you're starting maybe something fresh and you're worried and that there's a lot of worry. I do feel like you're transcending this uh, situation and it's going to get better. I do see, but although on top of all this, I do see a sudden, unexpected surprise. Now, for some of you, this is freedom. For, uh, this is sort of like being free from something. And for others, this could be a sudden loss of someone it could be a sudden loss of someone because i'm seeing two things that are showing one shows an accident the other one shows um the other one shows like there's a coffin so it shows okay a coffin shows loss of some sort or losing someone but again i will say this could be um a situation where it's coming to an end or perhaps finally putting the past at the end uh, putting the, the past to, to to sleep it could be that um some of you are looking for a way out of something out of a situation they want to free themselves there's too many changes too many problems they're not happy and i feel like you are starting to put plans in motion to go ahead with something now putting plans in motion this also requires a lot of hard work and money this is in regard to bringing in more money and building. You're building something. You want to build some sort of uh, a system, perhaps. You want to build some sort of a life you're planning, a business, something to secure you, to give you stabil stability and security. Um, but, you know, the great news is the sun is going to be shining and opening a new path for you. This new path, it's a new idea, a new venture, a fresh start that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. There's a beautiful trumpet, incredible happiness coming your way, uh, rewards from the highest level, recognition, um, expansion, you name it, it is going to take place for you. There's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of support. You'll overcome a lot of problems, that's for sure. You're developing new tactics. You're, you're thinking of a new idea. And this new idea could be a business, could be um, a very carefully planned situation, but it's going to be successful, that's for sure. I see it being implemented in this year. The dragon is here, the year of the dragon. This year, 2024. And I'm seeing you conquering it, being successful and having a great victory. Uh, victory over issues that you were having, whether it was any kind of money difficulties, that's being all, all your accomplishments are going to battle that and you are going to have a great victory. And I also see health, health improving, self-control improving, taking care of your health, which is wonderful, and abundance coming. I'm seeing control and power. I'm seeing a very loving relationship with someone. This person has leadership ability as, mu as much as you do. They, they like to be an authority too. You are also an authority. So I think you will do well together when you assume control <laughs> and divide the, uh, the control. You will do exceptionally well. But it is someone very much like yourself. I'm seeing um, paying, being paid off for your efforts. From the heavens, there's, there could be a windfall. From around, there could be some something amazing is happening. could be a windfall. Why I say a windfall? Because when the heavens want to give you, they can't. I mean, the only way I know how they can give you is by some sort of a windfall. There is winning money. Let's put it this way. It could be a lottery, a lotto. It could be inheritance. But there is a big amount of money being paid off for a job well done for all your sacrifices and everything you've done. You are finally going to be paid off for your efforts. So remember that, mark my words, where this money is coming from, only God knows. And it is to do with God and the heavens. So some of you... um in regard to your work, you might be considering doing some sort of uh, professional work, something to do with uh, recognition, fame. That could be possible. But there are a lot of rewards. You are building foundations and putting them into plans uh, of how you want to. Like when a person comes to build a house, how they put the plans on and, and marks everything. And that's what you're doing. You're planning everything. You're budgeting for a new home, a new life, a new way of life. 
I see abundance coming. This abundance is changing and giving you the right to choose what the type of lifestyle you want. I think the money is going to be very supportive and it's going to help you get the home you want, the place of living that you want, the life you want, or even for some of you, the type of business you want. Uh, so I feel like you are going to be really doing well and doing exceptionally well and changing your mind about situation situations and also changing uh, the way you live and perhaps even the location the location is possible that it's changing with this new abundance that's coming there's more room there's more light coming into your life there's more happiness you can take action now where you couldn't before it was impossible for now the changes are helping you take action you feel like more relaxed more happy um, and you're giving a lot of strength also a lot of strength now i'm seeing the line here the leo uh, Leo stands for strength, but it also stands for someone that might have Leo um, within them. Uh, this person you could be meeting 7 to 14 days from now or could be up to 14 weeks from now. You'll be dealing with someone that is Leo. You are really going to enjoy a sense of enjoyment and satisfaction um, that's coming from all that you've done, that you've done something so well. You've earned the, the applause or the rewards that are coming uh, you're seeing your hard work and how it established everything you were tears and tears before now you're not no more tears although there is one tear here you might be tearing up for someone but for yourself you are the beacon you are the leader you are the strength that does everything without anyone's support you do everything time for you to rest maybe you're thinking time to really take time out and relax and you know um You know, the fundamental need to have a break is so important for all of us, for each and every one of us, even though I'm not an Aquarius, but I'm just saying um, you need to slow down. That's what I'm trying to say. You need to really take time out and rest. You need to allow for things to unfold slowly and sort of stop worrying. You'll see September is going to be a much better time for you. Nine weeks from now and September number nine and September I've got there. Some of you are thinking of you know getting more work done when when in reality you should be resting some of you are thinking of buying more um equipment for a business or starting a business and then bringing the equipment in and needing more money that's for sure but you know the main thing is you are going to be living well and doing well i also see a new beginning that brings you a great victory gives you a lot of understanding you're finally understanding why certain things you couldn't move you were feeling stuck or you were feeling undecisive, you'll get to understand everything. There is someone that's a bit negative. They always are saying no. There is something they're saying no to. There is a no, a negative answer. Uh, even though you are open to compromise or, you know, maybe uh, the other party is open to compromise where, where you're putting your foot and saying no. So someone's saying no, the other one is saying I'm open to compromise. Either way, you have to navigate by what you think is right and what how you need to compromise together both reach to um, a resolution but there is a lot of bliss and you are going to be following your bliss the bliss the blessings are all around you someone wonderful of earth energy is going to be very supportive earth virgo taurus capricorn have a look at your general reading at the end you know which earth energy it is someone very 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 supportive with their ideas they're optimistic with their um yeah with their great ideas you can trust this person that they will help you uh, reach some sort of resolution and support you they're very loyal um you're never alone if you're worried about being alone you're not going to be alone i feel like you are going to be with someone that trust there is going to be a divine in, uh, not intervention but a divine detour there's a big detour in your life this detour is going to give you freedom this detour is going to help you discover a truth that you might have not known um, you are standing in the light of the truth so some wonderful truth and a great detour and again this is connected to someone of earth energy earth is all around you could be a family there's two of them there's uh, male and female energy earth energy virgo taurus capricorn they're all around you my dear aquarius this is incredible so there is some sort of discovery and um and that goes on. So there is someone maybe that you want to hold on to or they want to hold on to you. There is uh, wanting uh, someone wanting to hold on to something, to someone. Chinese ear of the horse here and the snake are very strong. Uh, and someone born Cancer or Leo again. Gemini 
or um, cancer again so double cancer cancer very strong here now talking about uh, loving and holding on and not being alone there's a lot of sensuality sex very strong sensual sex happening here different types and different positions and all kind of that a lot of sexuality uh, i'm seeing here now this is connected to perhaps you know it could be you know your lover it could be your person your boyfriend girlfriend spouse whatever it may be but uh, there is a very strong again i will say masculine energy here very strong but a lot of sex and um and there could be a sudden increase uh, like sudden, <laughs> sudden increase meaning there could be um babies <laughs> with this excessive sex there could be a child there could be a conception there could be you know a new beginning coming from this but there is a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry going on on a grand scale now this could be happening with water energy because i see double water here two water energies and the greatest one the strongest water energy here is the crab cancer well i saw cancer before i'm seeing it again cancer big time and also um cancer i love this four of them then there is pisces a few pisces and there is two scorpio so more cancer than scorpio that's for sure then you've got air energy here which is like yourself my dear aquarius i do see uh, this person that you might be dealing with might have aquarius in them they've also got libra and gemini libra gemini they're aquarius there so there is a little bit of air energy mostly this person is water energy and cancer being number one second pisces so remember that there's earth energy and i'm seeing a lot of capricorn here capricorn big time someone's got a lot of capricorn there's also a virgo a lot of virgo and there is taurus with a taurus that might have a little bit of libra in them wow lately that's been coming very often which is shocking i'm seeing strong leo remember i said very strong cancer now i'm seeing very strong leo could be someone that's a caspi cancer leo very very strong leo and the line was there also before remember that so leo very strong someone that has a lot of leo and a lot of cancer in them they could be aquarius with those two in them possibly there's also aries and sagittarius but very little fire energy not too much the strongest one was leo in regard to chinese uh signs i'm seeing three snakes here one two or three and i'm seeing also uh the snake no i'm sorry it's not the snake it looks like a snake it's a dragon chinese ear of the dragon here very strong then i'm seeing four dogs chinese ear of the dog the strongest here chinese ear of the dog chinese ear of the horse they are controlling everything the dog and the horse very big and then there is of course i'm seeing chinese ear of the ox buffalo there's ox buffalo here um of course the talking about chinese ears as i'm going uh, i'd like to let you know that the dog does go very well with the ox buffalo and the buffalo goes exceptionally well with the horse so there was those there and then there's a the chinese ear of the cat rabbit and the dragon i talked about then there is the monkey chinese ear of the monkey and then i'm seeing the rooster and after the rooster there is one more oh yes it is the snake finally chinese ear of the snake one two three snakes yes so um there are the chinese ears now um the other thing i was going to say i do see you um before i go into this one before we go into this the last thing i saw here it's very important that's what i'm going to talk about it and what i'm seeing is there's someone that you're getting very close to it's like hugging someone and talking and talking but looking in each other's eyes the more you're talking you're learning um the need you're learning and you know each other's needs and what you need you're finally talking about what what's needed and you're you're really um into this person you want to know what is it that makes them happy how to make them happy and you know what you're surrounded with water so it could be that uh, cancer situation that we we're talking about glasses off now i'm going to talk about the the information that came here deliver it to you okay so it shows that it says very soon something big's happening very soon it says just get the details okay so there might be something really big that you want to buy or do just get the details it looked like this area here there was something happening i think yeah just get the details that's what they're saying okay it says a new path remember i talked about a new path there's a new path that's starting a new way of life that's happening a new path leo oh my god leo leo is there again wow remember i said that there's there's one leo and then there were more leos and i said leo and cancer are the strongest in this reading so it could be someone that's a caspi so leo is big time 
Somebody wants to reach out to you. Or somebody you want to reach out to. That could be Leo. They might have Leo in them. Want to reach out to. To someone. Enjoy the outings. You're going somewhere and enjoying it. Okay, there is something that's blocked. Sort of like locked down or restricted or stuck. And there is something that's making you feel maybe stuck. You're not, not able to move the way you want to. It says that you could be on edge. But you need to be very careful because care is needed at this point. Very important. There is someone who's going to be the one. You are the one that's that's going to be either told to you, you are the one, or you are going to be saying it to someone else. But there is the one, knowing that you are finally with the one. Now, we've got Chinese year of the rooster. Something about ego. You've got to be very careful with ego. Adjustment is required. These are all the messages. Now, finally, I'll just do the names and the numbers that I was given. I was given the letter to, uh, twice the letter J for Japan. Jamaica, twice the letter G for Georgia or Greece, twice the letter R for Rusta or Rome, twice the letter C for Charlie or Canada. Then I was given F for France, H for horse, honey, K for kiwi, kiwi fruit, B for banana, P for pony, Y for yellow and I for indigo or for I am. Now, I was then given two numbers. First, the Chinese year of the rat, a new beginning. People that have Aquarius like yourself or even Capricorn, if it's you who's Capricorn, Caspi uh, Aquarius, this could be all about you. A new beginning is coming. Could be connected to Chinese year of the rat. But from the time you see this cup up to one month, there is going to be a new beginning. For some, it could take up to one year, but I see one month. The next one, is number five. The reason I said nah, it's, it's a month because I'm seeing maximum a month uh, because I see the next number is number five and number five this year, Chinese year of the dragon 2024 and a lot of changes are taking place. So that it is going to be the beginning, the new path that's happening within a month. So it gives us the timing here. Chinese year of the dragon, for those of you who are dealing with the dragon or you are a dragon yourself, a lot of changes are going to bring you a new beginning. A lot of changes from the time you see this cup up to five months, which is still going to be in the year of the dragon, a new beginning and a lot of changes. This is connected to people that you might be yourself or dealing with, or you might have a Taurus within you or dealing with someone that has Taurus or Gemini. And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. I wish you abundance of blessings. Do give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free and it supports me big time. And please watch the video all the way to the end. Always, that supports me a great deal. All my love and light to all of you. Namaste.